And there. Hello. Hello, everybody. Well, we finally made it for week nine. Off to a slow start. Yeah, that's on me. Sorry, guys. Just still trying to to come up to speed. Um. Oh, what's up, Alan? Yeah, maybe next week. Each week gets better, so um, we'll we'll take it as it goes. And uh, I'm well, trying to sort of put. He said more next more week he's still here. He jumped in and out. Oh, did he really? Yeah. That's on us, or it's on me. I am selling cards, though not not volume, but I am I am I am doing well. Well, that's good. So it's it's slowed. It's it's not a crawl, but it has slowed. So uh, maybe we're in a, a more of a. Oh, there you are. What's up, big dog? Uh, maybe we're in a in a. What's up, Matt? Matt's What's up, big Matt? So Matt, uh, in answer to your question, I'm not sure about his whole live backup. Matt asked if the VIP passes to the shows were worth it, um, and he messaged me, and I don't know. I haven't, I haven't uh, uh, investigated it yet. But give me, give me a couple of days. I'll, 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 I'll do some analysis. I, I would think it is, um, but. If you go Thursday, you've got Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So that's four days uh, in this in the same location with the same cards. Unless you're digging through like every single box, like I will be Saturday. <laughs> uh, then you know, it, I'll, I I don't know. I'm I'm going uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'll be there Friday. Or I'll be there Saturday and Sunday definitely. Uh, Friday night might be date night, uh, but I'll be there Saturday and Sunday, and I'm going to try to do some interviews and some uh, do some stuff for for the uh, for the podcast. And then I kind of want to get together and have dinner, either uh, have dinner Saturday night or lunch Saturday or Sunday or something like that before y'all head back. So, and then I'll I'm set the phone down and hit record, and we can just be silly, and then I'll put it up on a podcast or something like that. So yeah, I'm jealous. Hey man, it's the tribe. If you'd fly down here, you could go as well. <laughs> nah. See, then we're not that important to you. <laughs> it ain't that. You hear it's worth it. Okay. I, I don't know. I've got, you know, I don't know. I, I haven't seen what, it. What is, what does the VIP pass get you versus just going in the show? I mean, there's no behind the scenes. There's no backstage. Yeah. There's, there's no backstage, but I mean, it, maybe it gets you to a, a dinner or, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I know that when we did the, um, the VIP pass for the, uh, the um, come on, Bethune. The fantasy, the fantasy sports, so it's fantasy football basically. Um, guarantees admission, probably only going Friday night and Saturday. Just wondering if they were restricting the number of attendees and what it looks like. Uh, I'm sure they will restrict at some point, um, entrance to vendor nights on Thursday and Saturday. Yeah. It, it, but it the the venue's huge where they're going to have it. So I, you know, restricting people on coming in possible, but you know I I'm not waiting. I, I'm getting there early, so I'm not gonna, I'm not going to worry about it. You know, but if you're trying to come just in the afternoon, then I I I don't know. I'm not on Hobby Hotline that day, so. I may, I am bringing my Chrome laptop. I will find a spot in the room and I will sit down and I will call in just because I think it'd be fun. Um, it'll be loud. It'll be noisy. How many tables is it to show? Over 300. 
somewhere in the 350 range. Um, yeah. And how big is the venue? What is the venue? Where is it at? It's at a, it's at a um, convention center. It's at the Allen Convention Center. So it's it's pretty large. If okay. you're staying at the hotel, it's it's connected right to the hotel. So it's a hotel and convention center in, in Allen, Texas. So over 300 tables plus all the, the, the uh, admittance. Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a lot of people. Oh, wow. So they, they went up to 400. So this is going to be a mini. Uh, it's going to be a regional national. This is what everybody's been talking about on, on all the podcasts and on Hobby Hotline. It may, this may end up being a regional national or regional show of something. But if they're up to 400, I picked the wrong time to spend all my money before the show. I'm not going to fly out. Huh? No. Dude, I got a room you could stay in. I can't. If, I, if my arms won't say, look, I am not. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. I just can't do planes. Bless your heart. Not even for me. Yeah, six. They are. There are six former. Uh, football cat Dallas Cowboys that are going to be guests and signing autographs. Yes, Miss Michael Irvin. No, Troy no, 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 no. It's more like a lineman. Randy White, Two Tall Jones, Danny White. That's three. I can't remember who the. Other, I'd have to look up for who the uh, the three are. Okay, Two Tall. I get, I get that one. Yeah, but so they they they. Nobody I would know. No. Other than, other than too tall. Well, yeah, I mean, it's part of the uh, the doomsday defense. So you're looking at that Randy White and too tall were part of the doomsday. Oh, talking what? Mid 80s? No, 70s. Okay, earlier. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. 77, 78. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it. it I'm. Randy White was a beast, and he is the funniest dude you would ever meet. Oh my gosh, he's hilarious. Here's he's, uh, yeah, Lily Pearson, Jones, White, and two others. Lily, I, I still Lily's like right around the corner from me, so he's maybe 10 minutes away from me. Is that the one you were saying? He fell out, Mike. You, yep. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Randy White. Every time you, every time I've met Randy and seen him out, he's always just he's funny. He's just funny. Oh, I, I told you about my Walmart, didn't I? No, talk talk to me about your Walmart. What happened at your Walmart? What happened hey, now? Quit carrying sports cards. Mm. Like legit, quit carrying. They, uh, uh. Instead of going in to see an empty shelf with the tags on it, now all the tags are off, replaced, and it's all Pokemon. Nothing, so, nothing did, you listen, did you listen to Drew this week? His Halloween show. Okay, I'll give up. I'll give up a little bit of the goods. So they were talking about retail with the retail breaker, and they said now. If you try, if you buy something from Walmart.com, it could come from MJ Holdings. So it's not coming from Walmart; it's coming from MJ Holdings, and the price has gone up. And it's possible that that the distributor, that the the distributor, resale, whatever you want to call them, have switched from putting them into the Walmart to just putting it at Walmart online and cutting costs and uh, keeping the project margin for themselves and raising up the prices. Well, what they're doing is cutting out the stalkers. Mm -hmm. But then, so here's the, here's the other, how important does the cooks and the bots come? I know I saw that look on your face. I want you to call in on, on Saturday. I don't, I don't, yeah. I understand, but it's it's 
it's part of and I everybody I caught a lot of flack for that, but it's it's here. I mean, it it's it's here. It's technology. It's another step. Well, you know what else is technology? It's these people that hack your debit card. <laughs> is, that, is that okay? No. I don't use my credit card or I don't use my debit card online. It's, it's but you ain't got to use it online for somebody to hack it. I use my credit card, so I have credit card protection. You don't get what I'm saying, though. It's yeah, no, dude, I, it's cybersecurity. I know exactly what you're saying. Well, I mean, it's the same thing. It's it's, and I, I get what you're saying. It is it's part of how they use it, but there, there, there's no if if everybody's using it to take advantage of the system. Mm-hmm. So there's no good in it. Well, not everybody's going to do it. That's the kicker. Well, nobody's going to use a bot to go buy a box of cards for them. They're going to use the bot to try to get more than the allotted, you know. So I don't understand why is it not what why is it not good for the hobby when it's just a different form, and all you're doing is you're using the technology that's available to your advantage. And I, I, I'm open to being dissuaded here. I really, really am. I'm not, I'm not pounding my fist saying this is the only way, but I haven't heard anybody come up to me with a go good argument other than it's just not the way we do things. Sorry. I'm sorry. It, no it, technology and in, in it's change. So to have a, have a bot sitting there, Ready to pounce on whatever comes out on the internet. Mm -hmm. this, this is what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that, yes. Okay. Uh, let's just say whatever your whatever your favorite singer is. Say he's mm -hmm. cutting it down. Blake. Hey, it's Blake. Okay. Well, tickets are going on sale, not online at the box office. You get up four o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Go get in line. Mm -hmm. Somebody has put a bot at the counter two days prior to that, and it's been standing there for two days, waiting for the box office to open to buy all the tickets. Mm -hmm. So how are you gonna feel? Same way I felt. That's been happening since nineteen sixty-five. It is what it is. I mean, that's. You, they there has been people waiting in line to buy tickets forever. I mean, that's you, that's that's a that's not a great that's not a great argument. I, I, I Herman, I'm not I'm serious. If someone if someone comes up to me and gives me a legitimate reason not to do it, other than that's not the old way, okay. But I can't I. I I can't see not taking advantage of technology. Now I can see abusing. Now, if you want to say abusing, which is a, which is a bot, what's going on? Well, I'm I'm not for you know me. I'm not for abusing the system. But if I want to buy three boxes of a particular, if I want to buy three boxes or a, or a case of Heritage 2021, and I know that that's the only way that I'm going to get three boxes of Heritage 2021. Okay. Otherwise, pre-buy it. That's just it. It, 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 who, 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 I understand, understand the perception of who it hurts. But Matt, if you, if pre-buy, the answer is pre-buy. Yeah, but so the bots aren't the, the bots are being used for uh, mainly online exclusive stuff, right? Well, and that's where that's where the argument of of it's up to the um, card companies if they want to prevent if they want to prevent that. There's technology to be able to prevent that. There's captcha technology. There's there's certain technologies that are are 
used to block that. So who, who does it, it, it helps the flippers. Let's, let's be real. It helps the flippers. It helps somebody who's trying to buy low and sell high. The average collector's not going to do it. The average, um, the average collector won't be able to do it. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. All you got to do is learn how to do it. I do good to operate StreamYard. I could. I would want to because I, I, I don't. But, yeah. but right. you learned. You, you took, and I, and I correct me if I'm wrong, but you kind of taken a stance that, you know, people going in behind vendors and wiping the shelves. That's bad for the hobby. That's bad for the hobby. Bots are doing the same thing. I could see that view. I, I could see that view. 100%. I mean, the, the bots are doing the same thing. That, that's the arguments you hear. You hear people that where tops goes live with a product and before the, anybody can get their order in and get the credit card number in, they're all gone because bots have bought them up. And then granted, some uh, granted, um, <laughs> got in there in between all the bots, but for the most part, bots have bought them up. Right? Right. But bots aren't illegal. What's going on in the back? Well, standing behind a vendor waiting on him to fill a shelf up so you can buy it all is not illegal either. But you said it's bad for the hobby. Oh, I, okay. So, Matt, so that's a different, that's a different, that's a different, same but different argument altogether. And so is your kids' comment. So let's, we'll go. We'll, we'll we'll talk we'll talk about the kids. Let's flip and talk about the kids real quick. So yes, Brody had a great point on Newman's hundredth uh, anniversary program, where if the kids can't get the retail product, if they can't get product, it will turn them away from the hobby, and they've gone to Pokemon. So. Yes, I believe that there has to be a product, big league, uh, insert tops, uh, whatever, I, I, prism, what, who, whatever, that needs to be geared and mass to, uh, that has to be geared and, and mass produced towards kids. It ha it, I vehemently, 100%, agree that the kids need to have products that the kids need to have ways to purchase and get cards. I'm I, if I, if I go, go to a Walmart and I see, I don't, I don't buy everything. I don't, I don't, it's just, and I don't say leave some for the kids, but I live by another phrase called, and then there comes another. And that's that I believe is what's missing in the hobby. And then there comes another. So how do you fix it? So how do you fix it? How, how do you, I agree, but that's, but how do you fix well, it? Here, and, I, and I'm trying to remember who I heard say this. <clears throat> I believe it was Dr. Beckett. Take Big League. When Big League first came out, it was a, it was an introductory product, so to speak, right? Basically, it was just a few a few parallels and base cards. Mm -hmm. Now they've started putting autographs in it. Well, the autographs is what is mm -hmm. so out. So you, you need to take, like Big League, take the autographs out, take the chase cards out, period. So no parallels. No parallels, maybe an insert because I mean, I mean, back in the night, yeah, you can okay. Back in the day, they had insert sets that that's fair. All right, turn the printer on and leave it on to the next year. If if you know that a car, if you know a product is not going to quit printing, it's going to print, 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 people aren't going to rush to go buy it all up. 
because they know as they do, there's a million more cases coming right behind it. Well, then there's a cost prohibitiveness of when do you, when do you turn it off? I, I agree with that statement, but the, there becomes a point where you got to turn well, it I'm, off. I'm just, I'm, I'm exaggerating, but you, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, I do. 100%. 100%. And I, I, I agree that the product's going everywhere. Would, would probably would probably stop it anyway. I mean, sorry, I, I missed it. I know everything is going off shelves right now because of, of where we're at. Uh, yeah, they do need new distributors. Five, five. I agree. I agree, one hundred percent. They need new, new. Actually, no, I disagree. <laughs> but yeah, they need. There's, they need more competition. They need, they need a new third player. Go ahead. Uh, but like I said, it's, it's, it. Take, um, take the taste cards out, and and, I mean that right there. Like I said, that's going to slow it down anyway. Yeah. Because the, the ones buying them all up and the ones grabbing them all up are the ones that thinking they're going to get an autograph out of it or uh, the the next big parallel out of Big League. I'd rather do it. I'd rather see Big League and Archive. I'd love to see Archive just go into a complete kids only. Archive, it, well, because it's it, awesome. Yeah, because you've got the, it, it has the older cars in it. So that's an interesting comment foul five I, I was listening to brian or drew and drew's talked to brian gray at leaf a lot more about this subject and i'll paraphrase what they were talking about or the end they are printing the same amount of cards that they did previously the demand has gone up and I forgot. I forgot what was. It wasn't that they even they were afraid that even if they print more cards, that there's still going to be a, a demand for more cards. So they're at a fine line of how much do we print and all that. So even if I go to my LCS, I'm, they now get very limited supply. You aren't going. You aren't there the first day. You might not get anything. I've completely quit buying and purchase Kool-Aid sets because of their cost and lack of supply. So let me ask you a question. Let me ask, what about not buying from your local LCS? Uh, you know where I'm going with this, Herman. Because my favorite card store, Mason's, has sold to Herman before. Now, Herman's, let's full disclosure before we go any further. Herman's had a negative experience with Mason's. So we're going to go full full disclosure. And before before we jump into the, into this, I will I will back off and go any LCS other than blowout Dave and Adams and I forgot who the third one is. Steel because, City. Yeah, Steel City. Because there are LCSs out there that have supply. It's what you know what right. I, I agree only base packs would be cool it would be cool i mean i i right here hanger block box exclusive find six hollow orange and two diamond parallels well why why don't it all why isn't it all base you know I, so there's there's three of them or four of them, Matt. If you want me to hear, like right around my house, they're they're within a forty minute drive here in Texas. So I, I can give you a list of them if you want a list of them. But there are small businesses. But you can no, uh, -uh because you can order from just as one. It, you can order from every single one of them and have the stuff shipped to you. So you can't say zero. I'm sorry. I said in pay shipping. Yeah. So, okay. Well, I, if if I have a if I have a LCS, I can stop by in town and pick it up and save myself eight to fifteen dollars. Then negotiate eight to fifteen dollars. Be a hitter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, so I, it's just the fact you're not having one around here. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you know, can negotiate shipping. 
of, of cards outside of my own. And, and I could even tell you when has been online. So. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I'll give you a good example of what I'm not happy with uh, in this area, and that's Heritage 2020 or uh, Gallery 2020. Gallery 2020. Matt, you're not alone. Yeah. Uh, Gallery 2020, I would buy every single blaster that I could find and open it up because I, I have a sick – I like Gallery. I like Gallery. I mean, I do. I like the artwork. I like, I like the way it is, but I'm not going to be able to. I'm not going to be able to open it. You know, I've I've got to start saving now for um, Heritage 2021 because I'm going to have to pre-order a case, and I know I'm going to have to pre-order a case. And Kim looked at me. I I forewarned her that a case of Heritage 2021 was coming to the house. <laughs> and she now, goes, open a case? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, or you and I are splitting one, one or the other. Um, but I, that's the only way I'm going to be able to build a full set of well, Heritage yeah, 2021. I'm, I'm for at least a half a case now already. So, I mean, you know, but that's the only way – Unfortunately, I don't want to pay distributor price, though, but we can't I mean, pay, yeah, not, not distributor, but um, retail blowout, yeah, MSRP. No, we'll find we'll find somebody, and you know what? We may, you here's an idea we're buying a case. Who wants to buy in? Who wants to buy in? We're gonna buy a case. Well, I'm and, myself, I'm opening. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll 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 call it now. We're we're just gonna, we'll buy a case. We'll pull our money together and we'll crowdsource this stupid thing. And you know, if that's the way you got to do, I, I mean, maybe that's the next idea. Maybe that's the next brilliant idea. Is um, yeah, Fal Five. I agree. Maybe the next idea is crowdsourcing. You know, it break, who knew breaking would work? Well, okay, you get four guys together because they do this with sports tickets. You get four guys together, they buy a case and they split the case, and that's how you and that's how you get it done. Mm -hmm. I, it's an idea. Yeah, I agree. I I would want to as well, but if 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 if. I can't drop twelve hundred dollars on a case of Heritage twenty twenty one. Five, I need to keep you in mind because I'm I'm building a set. Yeah, and then all that, you know, what are you going to do with the singles? You can put them on sport lots. So, train card database but, uh, after you've been all, building all the inserts and all that can go on. All I want is the base. Yeah. All about that base. Wow. You just quoted Megan Trainer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It, it depends on how much I open. If I get if I get if I look decent on a master set, I may push for it. I doubt it. But well let's let's jump let's jump topics then. Let's talk about update the uh tops update that's about to come out and then update Chrome. I was watching Filmington at lunch while I was eating today and he was talking about the checklist and Filmington predicted it to be a disaster. And this is not my word. He said that, it, that the set is not worth it. Unless you hit the autographs. There are no auto. The autograph list hasn't come out yeah, and there's true. only two decent rookies in the checklist. <laughs> They held back. They held back everything, which means update and Chrome may be two really horrible buys initially. So, I, if, if you're interested, just go look, go watch Filmington's latest video. I thought it was fascinating. Lewis Robert's got an autograph in there. Do you know? Because the checklist hasn't been listed out. Okay. Yeah, it has. 
Uh, it wasn't released as of this morning, according to Filmington. Uh, yeah, it's out because I looked at it earlier. Okay, then they released it later in the day. The only uh, the only Freeman card that's in there is an autograph. Mm. Uh, so yeah, man, I, I, you know, twelve hundred. I can't afford twelve hundred. You know, I might, I might be able to afford it in a year if I save up, but I'm not that big of a high roller. I'm not like Herman. I'm not. I'm not a breaker. <laughs> what? I'm waiting on update. I didn't get two boxes there. All right. Don't curse me. <laughs> All right. How about bless your heart? <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, buying a box of retail blasters. Oh, I. Oh, I don't. I don't know if the value's there. I okay. Go ahead. I, I mean, I I bought I bought I bought a ton of Topps flagship 2019 blasters and hangers. That's how I started originally to fund what I do right now. It is that was the original. I still have. To, uh, hold on, I'll tell you. I probably have over 200 2019 common base 2020. I'm I'm stalling because I'm looking for my 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 tracking sheet. Uh, that's it right there. I still have. Come on, computer, hurry up. I should have had it pulled up. I I normally do. So All right. Uh -huh. um, the update has uh, 20, yeah. and I don't know how you do this. They have 20 one of one Derek Jeter autographs. I have 1,100 singles of 2019 That's flagship good. listed on Sport Lots. It's all up about that thing. Yeah, bro. <laughs> So I, I, when you, when you, I, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, I know that the, that some of the retails, uh, some of the retail inserts were okay. Oh, there you go. That just popped up. Cool. Dang. Look at all those freaking Jeter. It was 21 of one. Captain, you're the captain autographs. They are making their money out of that freaking license they signed. The number of yeah. autographs is uh, you have Shipper Jones, Cal Ripken, Derek Jeter, Matt, Nolan Ryan, Bench, Riviera, Schmidt, Ryan Smith, Alamar, Henderson, Johnson, Sandberg, Yout, and Koufax. Those are number to 25. See, and I don't understand getting the Sandberg being in there because you could get a uh, Sandberg autograph uh, through the mail pretty easily for five bucks. That's I don't understand why they why they. Yeah, I know a lot of Royals. Then uh, let's see, you got baseball star autograph sets. Uh, you got uh... who was a? That's why Gallo returned my through the mail unsigned. Why's that? Because he's got an update coming up. <laughs> yeah. But he's the, let's see, who's the other one? For the writer? Yeah, Josh Hernandez, or no, I can't, my glass, Scott. Oh, Henneman. Henneman. Then you have the dual autographs. You've got uh, Jordan, Louis Robert. Acuna, Soto, Bregman, Bagwell, Ishiro, 
Griffey, Soto, Guerrero, Bellinger, Kershaw, Judge, Mattingly, Devers, Ortiz, Strawberry, Alonzo. Look at that Strawberry Alonzo right there, brother. Woo! That's big money I'm going to have to shell out right there. Let's see. Little trout. Yeah, you got trout and uh, let's see where's that trout and Acuna on the Acuna on the same card. <laughs> Dang. And then you have Bellinger and Trout and Trout and Ryan. Decades best. I mean, there's some, and all of these are tw numbered. To, well, let's say the dual autographs are numbered to five. Uh, the star autographs, parallels, blacks, number to 199, gold, number to 50, red, 25, and platinum to one. Decades best is number to 25. Those autographs prices are going to be insane. And that's what's going to drive update. So, I mean, if you're, if like Matt said, like me and Matt said, if you're all about that base, update base is going to be easy to get. Well, yeah. I cannot, I cannot buy any and pick up a medium flat rate box for 20 bucks shipped to me. You know that. Yeah. You can find that on Sport Lots and Trinity Card Database and eBay. Yeah, the, you're, that's a great place. Dallas is going to be a great place to to do the Teddy and Jackie. Oh, look at these! Uh, look at these auto these uh, the Conan autographs highlight set. Jeez. Target Target only. You think Target's going to have an update left on the shelf? Nope. Cut signatures. DiMaggio. Pee Wee Reese. Pee Wee Reese. Pee Wee Reese. Dog. Warren Spawn. That's the one I. And then look, here's another 20 card one on one set of Derek Jeter. Dude, they are going to make Jeter cards worthless. All star All -Star autographs. I mean, there's autographs, tons of autographs in this. Tons. Then look, baseball coin card autographs and blasters only. Retail. Jeez. That means that get ready for retail to be $30. Yeah, Matt, I'm, I was telling Brad earlier, I, I've started pushing on my 72 set, which is the oldest set that I've tried to complete. My birth year set, <laughs> but I, I, picked up, I picked up the Nolan Ryan in a trade with Lanny the other day. Traded him a traded him the twenty twenty top set and a Lewis Robert rookie tops uh, tops rookie base card. As you stare blankly. That's well. I, so here's my here's my dilemma. I want to collect a seventy two set. I, I want to because again, it's 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 our birth year. But man, can can you afford to? Can you can you? Uh, to me, that's just so astronomical to even comprehend and that's maybe it's just me and i need to like just dump in does that sound familiar yep that's where i'm at matt nothing but high numbers yeah it, it sucks dude it sucks and that's that's right there that's why i don't want to i don't think i want to go after the the Building, going back and building sets because 
and maybe it's just the challenge that I haven't. Maybe if I if I were to do like an eighty three or an eighty four, and build that set and start there, because the eighty three eighty four that's got uh, that's got um, you know the Mattingly and the Ryan rookie or the Mattingly and the Rhino rookies, so. Oh, da, 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 seven seven, yeah. Uh, ACL. That's uh, that's that's basically how I started the seventy two. But now that I've gotten down to just the high numbers, what's up, Gamble? Every do what? I'm saying how to Dave Gamble. I uh, every lot that I have found, and they have the cards listed. It it, it might be a lot of forty cards, and they'd be. Only two of them in there that I needed, and I just I didn't want to go through the hassle of buying a lot of forty cards for two cards and then trying to sell resell all the others. Well, could you put those on trading dark card database and and sport lots? Uh, trading card database it vintage is hard. It doesn't really do much on there. Okay. Uh, because I mean, because if you if you list it on there, you're gonna get. Because I've tried this, I did list some of my '72 dubs on there, and I got a ton of people offered me 2019 cards for the '72s. Mm. Okay, that, that makes that makes sense. And you know, I don't I don't want to trade you know '72 for a 2019 card that. I can buy in a in in bulk in a medium flat rate box, you know. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. So, all right. Well, you ready to open that box? Yeah, I am. So we're gonna open this. Let me go get my. I I never do remember. I got one right here. Come on. Here we go. So I put my camera in position finally, <laughs> or my phone in position to be able to do this. Let's breaker this. Let's Herman this. Dude, the phone's in the way. How do you see anything? Uh, why resell extra? I, I'm not a set. I'm literally not a set builder, so I don't know. I think it was referred to what I said, but I, I, and I might be wrong. But I, I don't want to do it one set. <laughs> I don't want to do it but one time. Dude, let's hope we get some Sean Murphys in this sucker. Dude, my hands look fat in this thing. Ooh, I got a Clemens. All right. What happens if I turn this light off? Is that better? It's better. Dark. Now I know why you don't do the whole thing. Okay. All right. So, Chris, Day wow, that's much different, isn't it? Wow. No wonder why you did it this way. Okay. So, Chris Davis. I can't see the names, though, for some reason. How about if I do it? Oops. Sorry, guys. Uh, you can still see that. Yep. So what was in what was in let's see? Go back. What they had the they had the rated rookie, right? Uh yes. So the rated rookie will be in here. What other I opened zero Donner's baseball 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, this is the first one I've ever opened. So there's a Kel Marte. Well, I used to turn around and see what all I've opened, but I had a fire sale. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. There's a Willie Calhoun. That's from Texas. So of that group, there was maybe one that I knew. <laughs> Here's Votto. Don't swear almost to the inserts. Don't spoil the surprise. I'm not. So Yelly, is that, I guess that's Christian Yelich. That's interesting. I'm gonna blow that up. I can't. You got that's your phone. About, it's, yeah, that's as big as we got. Okay. You must you have your phone up right, don't you? Yeah. So there's there's a good one. Better if you turn it this way. Okay. It's wider, I should say. Okay. But that's you can you can see it. It's the same Hilliard rated rookie right there. Yeah, look. Same here, Foul Five. Right? They they went to nothing but Pokemon. There's one Soto. The Diamond King. That's what I was trying to think of. Yeah. Yeah. So I actually saw somebody, a kid in Walmart, looking at park Pokemon. And he had the Walmart app up and the eBay app up at the same time, looking at prices on eBay to see what to buy. I was flabbergasted. Yes, I used the word flabbergasted. Flabbergasted. That's Alex Brigman. Mauricio Dubon. It's a flashback rookie card. I was listening to this, to uh, the rated rookie. I'm going to try to do some investigation on this rated rookie logo and see if I can't do a podcast on it. Cause um, it's, uh, there's an interesting history on it. Didn't, uh, didn't Donners have a lawsuit against somebody for using it? Yep. All right, so now we're going back to... Oh, we know who that guy is. Ah, uh, chunk it. That's nobody. <laughs> There's a guy that's... He's in a world hurt. There's the orange. It's got to see the right, the hue on it. Yep. You can see that right there real good. That's the orange refractor. Is it? I, don't know. <laughs> I have not opened it. Uh, five had heard anything about the manager. Hmm. <sighs> well, Yu Chang, there's been there was a, a, a little while there while when everybody was buying Yu Chang cards. Oh, oh. what is that? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a what we think is a decent hit. What is that? Two of them. Oh, a Bobby Whit Jr. All right, so let's look at the Christian Yelich. Whoa, what is that? It's seen on TV. That is cool. That's a cool card. 
And look, Bobby Witt Jr. Ooh. That's pretty. That might go in the PC. I like, I like Bobby Witt Jr. cards. G. Carlos Stanton. As you can tell, I'm such an experienced breaker. <laughs> Are you having fun yet laughing at me? <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. I'm laughing at me. That carpenter. Yeah, it screw up around me. So you know him, Pal Oh, That's kind of cool. J.D. Martinez. There for a while, I thought he was going to be the, the shiz. That's a lot of blue right there, man. That's a lot of blue. Jake Rogers. Oh, Played look at that. Played dogs. Eighty-seven Bear Carter. Paul Muller. Mr. Murphy. Neymar Reedy. Look at that. Boom. I tell you, uh, was talking about update earlier. Another, uh, a cool, another, what I think is a uh, cool insert is the, have you seen the, the throwback, the prospect throwback cards? Mm hmm. I like those. Okay, so let's look at the stack. Inserts versus base. Yeah. That's that's pretty good, man. That's a 50-50. That's a pretty good that that's pretty good in my book. What about you? Yeah. Matt, you still with us? You still out here? I guess he's not. That's that's pretty good. I enjoyed it. You think we got good value out of the out of the box? <laughs> he had to let the dogs out. <laughs> Dude, I still, I still, uh, music lines. <laughs> Yep. So yeah, that was that's the box. I got three more. Whoa, I got three more. So we are not professional. We are not paid to do this. So never claim to be. Never. Oh Lord, I don't like that. Woo. That's too much us. That's, that's way too much us. If we ever get accused of getting paid for doing this. Minimum wage, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> so, what's your week look like this week coming up? Uh, I am getting ready to go to Spartanburg. You know this. That's that's all I've talked about for the last two weeks. I'm ready to go. I'll be there when they open the doors, and I'll leave when they shut them. Are you getting a hotel? And then, uh, <laughs> wow. Wow, Matt. Wow. So you were going to be a guest on my podcast, but that just got shot down. <laughs> uh, so are you going to spit? have a hotel there or are you just coming back? No, I'll just come back. It's only like an hour and a half from me. Okay. It's 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 like from nine to four. So, I mean, I can be back home by six. Yeah. That's not bad. So for me to Allen is is uh, or to the big show is forty minutes. So yeah. I wouldn't do an hour and a half, but I might if the show was big enough and it was like in Austin, I might do it. But other than that, 
Wow. Here's a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> That's three. <laughs> That's hurtful. It's, 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 it's hurtful words. I think I might have to go like cry to my therapist or something. <laughs> So uh, let me ask you, we got like, what, four minutes. Is that like, can I ask you podcast questions? Let me ask you, what you, would you think of the, of the last podcast? Truth. <laughs> you buy the first round of beer. <laughs> oh, okay. I had to think for a minute. I, I, I listened to so many of them. Wow. No, it was good. This dog, who, uh, can we invite somebody else to dog pile on me? <laughs> I enjoyed it. Uh, what did you think uh, about the Christian aspect of it? That's good. Oh, I was going to, I, I was going to tell you too. Uh, the song he played at the end. Yes. My, uh, you know, my oldest son, when he was in high school, yeah, was, was doing that exact same thing. That's awesome. And I spent the entire week trying to find an old file of where he had saved some of them. I was going to send it to you. Oh, you should. You should. I, I'm, I, I, I like Christian rap. I don't know where he put it. I don't know what he did with it. Yeah. He may have deleted it all. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, because of the dinner we had, just all the, the deal, I, it was just put on my heart that I needed to do something. And if you've noticed, the the stuff and the plans that I want to do, they're all about um, promoting growth, promoting pr promoting good within the hobby, and trying to make it better. So that's 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 my that's my that's my end goal. Well, yeah, I'm I'm selling and I'm buying and I'm collecting cards. A big, a big part of this to me is to help, um, is to help grow the hobby in whatever fashion that I can, and that's probably where the rest of the goals, um, where the rest of the goals were. So it's a lot. It's there's a lot of goals. There's a lot of of stuff on there that I want to do. There's a lot of, but it didn't have to be done. Now it doesn't have to be done within the next five years. So, so let me ask you this: what what platform are you going to try to sell the autographs in? So I'll probably do it on eBay until I can find a better platform. My biggest concern is the mantle ball being an eight hundred nine hundred dollar sale, uh, and or or guys at my church getting a hold of it and it being a three thousand four thousand five thousand dollar sale and then having to to front that to eBay I full well expect this is not this is not a sale the the balls are a secondary to I had to be careful how I said that <laughs> the autographs are secondary it's more the donation to the missions that 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 I want to promote the balls are just a, 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 a means. So, and when I run out of, of, of autographs, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So I, mean, I don't know about the other, I know how you told me how you got the mantle. Is, is the mantle authenticated? No, it's not. None of the, none of the autographs are authenticated, but if you, if you, there is a Beckett pre authentication that when you, when I put it up on the web, you can, um, you can check to see if it's, a, if it's authenticated or not. Uh, all the autographs, well, I say all the baseball autographs I've seen, I know they're, I, I, I had to monograph myself. The, uh, the, um, the footballs, my mom got autographed. Well, I, I know that, but I'm talking about as far as I mean. You you say the autograph, but 
you, you know yourself, if it's authenticated, then your value is more. Just just for for somebody else that's buying it, it's peace of mind. You know what I mean? That makes sense. Um, because I I mean I'm not going to buy a Mickey Mantle autograph ball off of eBay if it's not authentic authenticated. I'll I'll look into that. I mean, I may end up delaying. I can hit it for twenty bucks. But I'm just and, and I'm I'm not I'm not trying to discourage anything. I'm just I'm just you know I'm putting it out there. No, it's it's. I don't want to have to send it someplace and wait six to eight months for it to be authenticated. That's the problem is when you do something like that, it's, I want to be able to, if, if I can like at one, at one of the shows here, JSA was doing authentication. Okay. Maybe I need to take three or four pieces and go get them authenticated. That's, that's something I may have to do. Well, that's, that's the way I am with mine. I'm not, I'm not putting mine in the mail to send to get authenticated. Yeah, I'm not. And that if, might be that I, might be right. That might be Matt. I I don't I don't know. I just know that this was put on my heart, so it's something that I I you know I I, I don't know. I may delay it then this this month and see if I can't find because I've got a picture of the bell tray getting signed by me. So, but I don't have the maze. I don't have the mantle. I don't have the, the, um, Clark. I don't, I don't have pictures of me getting those signed. The, I'm thinking about getting about selling my, um, Tyler Sagan game used Olympic helmet that I've got an authentication for because, you know, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I just know it's been put on my heart, and I got to find. Maybe it's another step that I need to go to. So, we'll see. But I did want to know if if the if me talking about that was like a, a turn off or anything like that, because I ain't. I did it's a big part of my life, and I do talk about it. So, I mean, not not for me. I mean. Well, if it's not for you, then it is for most people. So I'm not worried about it. I mean. What? Well, we're going to hop off. All right. Uh, we're done. Oh, uh, uh, Matt, when, when my uh, one of my next blogs is going to be on the show. So I'll do the investigation on that. Uh, I, not this one coming up. This one's going to be on rookies. And then the next one's going to be on uh, the show coming up. So. We're done. I'm done. Are you done? Are we I'm done? Dead. I am done. <laughs> you do you too, boo. <laughs> All right, guys. We got it. Uh, All right. We'll do it again next week. Thanks. See you.